So the other day, Stroll Clips uploaded a video where they were Lance Stroll and they crashed everyone out of the Grand Prix and there was a glitch. As you can see here on the screen, Stroll is getting out of Mazepin's car without a front wing. And also the glitch is both Hasses got a 1-2, so that was weird. But I'm actually going to do the taking out in this video. It should be fun. It's actually more difficult than it seems because sometimes you're going to crash out. I did use flashbacks in this, to be fair though, so that's why some of the crashes look so clean. So anyway, let's get on to it. I've jumped the start and I've got I've taken the lead there. No one can get a better start than me. And I'm going to park myself right on the apex of turn one and we got Boom Lewis, Boom Fernando now reversing and there's Leclerc moving there boom he's done that took a couple flashbacks to tell you what and we've still got our front wing which I'm quite happy with and now we've got Valtteri there he's an easy target and now we don't have our front wing but that's also both Mercedes out that's what one two three four cars out of the race so now it's our teammate Sebastian Vettel behind us we should in theory be able to slam on the brakes and get him let's see yep that was easy. Can he take out Latifi? No. That would have been really useful if he, take, if he took out Latifi, you know, because that could have, in turn, caused a chain reaction with the cars behind him. So we're just going to do Latifi ourselves. And try with Esteban Ocon. It's kind of embarrassing, actually, that attempt. And now onto the straight. This is also 0% AI, so don't mind me. That's why they're going so slow and I'm able to overtake them. I tried to ram Gasly off the road. Can't do that, so instead we're going to approach Carlos Sainz. Can we make it two Ferraris in one lap? Driving him into the barrier. Almost take ourselves out. We have to go into the runoff area. And that's Sainz out of the race. It doesn't say DNF just yet. Can confirm that is him out. And we... Ooh, that was a clean go with Sonoda. I didn't actually attempt to do that one as well. I put the power down way too quick. Like, embarrassingly too quick. You wouldn't see an F1 driver make that mistake anywhere and now I'm just trying to take out Nikita Mazepin which I can't do so I'm just gonna boom or Mick Schumacher decent drift there he didn't even spin out so we're gonna use the same trick we used on Leclerc don't make that work and now we're side by side with the Williams rest in peace Frank and we're gonna cut to this bit where we park on the apex slow down Norris boom Raikkonen's done the job for us. So now we're going to do the job on Raikkonen, returning the favour. Woo! We didn't even touch his car there, look. His wheel just fell off for us. Maybe he's just feeling really polite today. Anyway, we go on. and Are we going to park on the apex here? No, we're not. Instead, we're going to cut to the bit where we crashed up Valtteri Bottas. And we missed George Russell, but next up is Pierre Gasly. Oh, no, it's not. He's in the pits. Next up is Mick Schumacher. Let's see what happens. Boom! Mick Schumacher sends us to the moon. I'm sorry my mic is so bad. I don't really know what's happening with it. I think I might need a new one. As anyway, we cut to the straight. And we've got a Giovinazzi behind us. A speedy Italian. What can we do with him? Are we going to do a Seb on him? Yes, we are. And Mazepin, we're going to get the double! Boom! Oh, that's we we're spinning off way off the track there, behind the tractor, which is actually well coded. You can even see my car through the window. See, code masters will code that and then not even bother to do realistic crash physics. And that's Sergio Perez, who is the car behind us, because we're a lap down for stopping for all these cars. I've just noticed we've got so many cars out of the race. That's we've already got 13 out in two laps. Now we see Sergio Perez. Boom. He almost flips us on our side. Reminds me of Max Verstappen, Kimi Raikkonen, Belgium 2019, Turn 1. That sounded so specific. Uh, yeah, we've got Verstappen a while behind us. Oh no, there he is now. Um, but he's got past us. We weren't able to uh, get him and it was a bad attempt anyway. So now we're going to cut to this bit where we park on another apex. Gonna give George Russell the same treatment as Valtteri Bottas, if we can even get him, that is. Into reverse, just sorting out my perfect angle. The car's already in reverse, all I need to do is just slam backwards and... Russell hit our front wheel there and somehow it didn't come off. But, but he's out, so that's one car. I don't know why I'm stopping here, I just need to drive. 
Bruh. Tires are very hot, that's completely not my fault. And now there's some background noise. I'm right in the middle of Storm Arwen, you see. So, I've kind of got an excuse. And now we're ramming Ricardo doing what we did to Carlos Sainz. Can we get him? No. That was embarrassing, really. Just gotta do a little power slide to save our dignity. There's a game of chicken here, it's like Monza qualifying. Stopping on the track. Overtake me! He doesn't. I go. It really is like Monza qualifying. So now we've got six cars left in the race. So, no, sorry, five cars out of the race. I just, um, I'm a lap behind Russell, which makes sense. Now we've got to warm up the tyres even more. Maybe we can get a lucky spin on Ricardo. So the car behind us, other than Ricardo, is Ocon, who we're actually going to try and get now. See, there he is, there's the Alpine. Boom! That's both Alpines out of the Grand Prix. That just leaves Max Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Daniel Ricciardo, and no more Max Verstappen. Sorry I couldn't get much footage of that. It was just, yeah. It was a good ram. Go back and look at it for yourself. Now we're doing on Pierre Gasly, third time lucky. What we did to Carlos Sainz, is that him? Out of the race? We did it right this time, we did it right with Sainz. We didn't do it right with Ricardo. is that him out? We'll have to wait and see. When Ricardo overtakes him, the interval will go and it'll say DNF or whatever it is. If he's even in the race. Which I should hope he isn't, because that just leaves Ricardo. Yes, that is Gasly out of the race, so now I'm just going to skip forward a little bit. We've ruined Ricardo's front wing. Look how mangled our front wing is. No, that's actually just the design of the Aston Martin, the tracing point, the 2019 Mercedes. But it does look kind of mangled from this angle. Oh, that rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. But anyway, we've got Ricardo. We can afford to just take ourselves out when we're ramming Ricardo because we're the last two cars in the race. So we're going to do that. We've got him. And that's us out. McLaren have pulled it off. They've won in spectacular fashion here today. What set them apart from the rest? Taking care of the car was absolutely vital today. It's been obvious all weekend that the pace was there, but look at the attrition rate we've had. They would have been very concerned about any minor anomaly towards the latter stages of this Grand Prix. Track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, you put me in. That challenge was actually really fun. I say this at the end of all my F1 game videos, not that I've done many. But this one was really fun, you should try it yourself. But um, anyway, if you like the video, leave a like. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you're feeling dangerous, if you're feeling brave even, just go for it. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, you know? But anyway, you'll see me in the next video, so peace out.